Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could insert a poll into your Microsoft Teams meeting. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two different Microsoft products. One of them is Microsoft Teams, where you're gonna have your meeting. And then the second one is Microsoft Forms. With Microsoft Forms, what you could do is you could create uh, quizzes, you could create surveys, and we're gonna use that to insert a poll into Microsoft Teams. Now with Microsoft Teams, there's no built-in functionality to insert a poll, so we're gonna use these two different apps together. All right, well, enough talk. Let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do this. So here I am on my PC and right now I have Microsoft Teams open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into my calendar and we're gonna kick off a meeting. So here I am in my calendar and if I look at my day today on Friday, I have a number of meetings coming up and one of them is called Fun With Polls. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click into that one. That's exactly the one I'm looking for. And there are a few other people who are also in this meeting with me. We have Megan and we have uh, Johanna. So what we're gonna do now is let me go ahead and join the meeting and I wanna insert a poll into this meeting. I'm gonna go ahead, let's just join the meeting. So here I am in the meeting. Okay, the next step is I wanna prepare the poll so I could have everyone fill it out. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's minimize Teams and I'm gonna open up my web browser. And what we're gonna do is we are going to navigate to a website called office.com. And on office.com, you're gonna have two different options, sign in and get office. Make sure you click on the sign in button. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click Click on sign in and then if you have an existing Microsoft account go ahead and sign in with that if you don't you could also create a new one it's free to create a new one so feel free to do that now I've already signed in and here I am once you sign in on office.com you'll land on the home page here now what we want to do is we want to open the app uh, Microsoft Forms and to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on all apps over here it's not part of this initial set and over in the top right hand corner here, I have Microsoft Forms. It says you could create surveys, quizzes, and polls and easily see the results in real time. Now that's really cool for a Teams meeting to be able to see the results in real time. Let's go ahead and click on Microsoft Forms. And here, this is going to launch me into Forms. Now you could create a new blank form, you could create a new blank quiz, or you could start from a template over here. And there are lots more templates that you could choose from. A lot of them are pre-created and you could just use them. Now what I wanna do today is for my poll, maybe we're gonna do a quick employee satisfaction survey so here you see that's one of the templates and I've actually already created a form with that so I'm gonna click into this now here's my employee satisfaction survey there are a whole bunch of different questions on here that I'm gonna ask uh, both Megan and then Johanna to answer uh, but this question look this uh, survey looks good and what I want to do now is I want to share it with my group on teams and to do that in the top right hand corner there's a button that says send now if you want to learn more about forms and how to use it and how to set up different questions I also have a video on that that you could find in the description so if you want a more in-depth tutorial of forms feel free to go to that video right now I just want to show how to get this poll into teams I'm gonna go ahead and click on send and what this will do is this will generate a URL here and I could go ahead and just copy that and then I could paste that somewhere else. Some of the things you can also do, you could also get a QR code, you could insert it into a website, you could even email the link to someone. So lots of options here. Now I've copied the URL for this form and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back into my Teams meeting and here I am in Teams and now I could open up the conversation view. So I'm gonna click on conversation and I could say, hey, hey, take this poll. And so I'm gonna send that text and then I'm gonna paste in the URL. And now everyone in this meeting can take the poll. If they click on it, it'll open up the poll. So what I'm gonna do now, this is kind of the fun part. I could click on responses and here are all the responses to the poll and you'll see them coming in in real time. Now I haven't gotten any responses yet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, and this is something you could do in Teams, which is fun. I could go back to Teams and I'm gonna share my screen. So I'll click on share. And what I can do then is, let's say I share my browser window. So I'm gonna share my Chrome window, uh, which has the survey results on it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back and let's say I'm a meeting participant and I wanna actually fill out the survey. I'm gonna go to this website URL and here you see my survey now. So I'm gonna go through and I'll say, uh, yes, I'm a manager. How long have you been in the organization? I've been there a long time, over five years. What's your age group? Let's say I'm in my uh, mid thirties. 
How satisfied are you with your current employer? This is gonna be a little awkward sharing these poll results in front of my coworkers, so I should probably say extremely satisfied. Uh, and we're just gonna go through, select a few different answers. Some of them I'm happy, some of them I'm not. And same here, we'll just go through. Oh, the senior leadership team has communicated a vision for the future that motivates me. Yes, yeah, strongly agree, let's go for that. Um, and I'm just gonna go through, answer these different questions. And any other feedback, uh, let's say great survey. And what I can do now is I could submit my survey and it says, thanks, you've submitted it. So just imagine this is a participant who went through, filled out this survey. And now back on Chrome here, I was on the responses view. Here now I see that there was one response. It took me 44 seconds to complete it. And now I could go through and I could see all the results. So let's say you're on Teams and maybe you create a fun poll. You could see the results in real time uh, showing up on the screen share. All right, well that was just a really quick way how you could create a poll using Microsoft Forms and then you could insert that into a Teams meeting. Now the really neat thing is you could click into the response view in Forms and then share your screen and then everyone in real time can see the results in Microsoft Teams. Uh, so kind of a really neat feature using two different Microsoft products. Anyway, if this video helped show you how you could insert a poll into a Teams meeting and hopefully add a little bit more fun to your meeting, your classroom setting, however you happen to be using this. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos, any other topics you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.